I know he don't fuck with no Larry June. I said, I said, this ain't true, nigga. What you on? I said, I need to get to go. What we? Oh, just let me know. Seventy one. Yeah. Here's the thing. It's just us, 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 us. Just us part episode seventy one. We got a special guest in the building. You already know. I am Fabian, my co-host. Just Dan. Our special uh, guest. First class, what it do? Man, what great up, to welcome, have you, welcome. brother. Welcome. Great to have you. Great to have you. For sure, for sure, man. It's supposed to be happening a couple of times, but you're here now. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. I'm, I appreciate y'all staying locked in and I'm staying locked in. And we got to make it happen, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Sometimes when you got podcasts, people think it's a competition thing. Man. You know what I mean? And me and you, we know how we get down, so yeah. you know. I appreciate it though. Yeah, for sure, mm-hmm. man. Uh, I say that to anybody out there, especially in Houston. Houston, real independent driven. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it feel like a competition, but it ain't a competition. Yeah. It's really, just everybody just want to win. And and right. I'd be lying if I said that I ain't sit here and watch your podcast, Kirk Nim podcast, uh, Jasmine, all her stuff going on just to I see like. It all. What exactly everybody's doing? Right. How, like taking some tips here and there, and then also trying to make sure we ain't all doing the same thing. Exactly. Like to be too too similar with each other. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? For sure. I'm on that same thing. Like I look at everybody podcast because at the end of the day, I know what support is and how mm-hmm. important it is to everybody. You know what I mean? So I kind of I don't know if people look at me and what I do. Uh, I kind of try to make sure I support everybody. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. It's kind of hard to do it now with. Uh, you know what I mean? So much things going on, but I still try to chime in and make sure I do that. And that's why I like minded minds, you know what I mean? We always gonna do that. Yeah. And and that's a big part of why I even, you know, kept in touch with you. Cause the ones that get it, get it. And I can tell that you get it. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Even by you just saying that you try to stay in touch, that you try to make sure that you support everybody. And that's the type of time we on, man. If you come to us, we don't have we don't really have no criteria to come in here, bro. We built yeah. this Solely off of wanting to do it. Yeah, yeah. it was. That's, an I idea. mean, that's what yeah. most things start, bro. Yeah. Off of thought, you know that's what I mean. And, and you have to build, and like you say, consistency and and that discipline to make you keep going, man. That's what all about entrepreneurship and uh, I mean, chasing your dreams and doing stuff you want to wake up and do. That's all it's about. So it's easy to see that child locked in as well. You know, what I mean? appreciate and, that. And I also think that like the more consistent you say, the easier it gets, right? Because this shit sure. ain't easy. You know, ain't, I ain't nah. gonna sit here and act like, oh, it's, it's a piece of cake. Like I'm sitting here worried right now that I hit record on the mixer. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just that's it matters. What yeah. it is. Exactly. Details so details matter. It's bro. as long as you keep doing it, you keep you run you might run into the same issues, but you know how to deal with them at that point, right? But sure. let me make sure I hit record though. It's red. Right, it's red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna tell you, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's recording. Red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I wanna get into, you know what I'm saying? I think the earliest I met you, bro, might have been Lamar University. Yep. I think it sure. might have been Lamar University. Man, people don't know about them times, bro. Bro, bro, listen. <laughs> listen, man. Yeah, I don't know. It was people think it was peaches and cream, bro. It was it was a bunch of just figuring shit out. Yeah, for sure. It was a bunch of just figuring shit out, man. And I remember the next time, like, shortly after I met you, it was a period of time where, you know, everybody was kind of finding who they were. Everybody was doing certain shit. We was all together, but a lot of people was doing different shit all together, if that makes sense to right. everybody. No, I get what you're saying. And then, boom, I see you gone, and you playing football. I'm like, damn, I never knew you played football. <laughs> yeah. Like you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you. So, just real quick, I came to Lamar – after I had played football already. Okay. So out of high school, I went to Blinn Junior College. Okay, okay. So I went to Blinn and uh, went there. I actually won a national championship my freshman year. Yeah. It was going good. Sophomore year, got into it with one of the coaches, which one of the coaches, he's a new coach there, offensive coordinator. So my OC had, you know, Blinn just like, for students, it's like that for coaches. Yeah. You get a new job, you get a scholarship somewhere else, you gonna, a bigger school, you're going to take it. 100%. So uh, my OC ended up getting the UG after we won a natty. He got a new job. So new guy came in. We didn't really get along. Long story short, after the first game, I was gone. Like, I just ended up – they say I left the team. They say I quit, but to me, they told me, hey, we're going to take your scholarship. So I just kind of took my, my – I'm goal driven, bro. Yeah. So at yeah. the end of the day, I feel like it, if I'm about to, all right, I'm this is my end here. 
I'm finna go figure out my next move. Yeah. And so I moved kind of quickly. I was young. You know what I mean? I wasn't uh, thinking at the time. So I made my first move, and I left really quickly. And um, I went home and got a job. Mm. In high school, I served tables, so I was doing that for a little bit. The coach ended up calling me two weeks later and was like, man, we want to give you a scholarship back. We're going to give you a red shirt. Come back. I go back to Blinn. Mm. Cam's first semester would be my – Second semester. My second semester being, the, I mean, my second season being there. So I would have had a great year. That's, <laughs> I <laughs> bigged it up. Yeah. But that didn't happen that way. The OC. And when you say Cam, you talking about Cam Newton, y'all. Cam Newton, right, right. Cam Newton, that was it. He went to Blend Junior College my, in the 2008. That would have been my last season there. I started my freshman year. You know you only get two yeah, years. Yeah, 100%. Juco. So uh, I ended up not getting to play. The, the, the head coach and the – Trainer told me that he wasn't going to uh, he wasn't going to give me my red shirt because you got to get a medical red shirt. You got to have some type of injury to for it to last, and he didn't want to lie on it. And I, I I'm cool with that. I don't like lying either. Yeah. So at the end of the day, he just like nah, he didn't want to stand on it. So I ended up leaving, and that's why all my partners at Lamar go to Lamar. Go to Lamar. How was craziest your- thing I did, but. <laughs> Why I you say it's the craziest thing you did, though? Man, you know. Because we did have fun. We had fun. But it fun was just, don't always equate to go every on night, to like you yeah, said. Yeah, every night. Like, I'll be honest. When I, got, I, when I got there, of course, I was a student athlete, so I was making the good grades before I got there. Got there, it was, I had never indulged in, like, all the stuff that was going on yeah, there. So that's, that changed everything that was going on. I really wasn't going to class. Uh, it just changed my, my whole goals yeah. that I had in mind. And that's why I started seeking. That's another way to, because I was chilling. Yeah. And I bullshit you not. The same coach that I got into it with ended up getting a new job in Oklahoma at a school called Bacon College. And he knew I wasn't playing football. So he reached out to another guy that lived in Beaumont that was coming out there with him. It was like, hey, I know I'm the last guy you want to play for, but I got a scholarship for you. If you want to come out here and play, uh, I'm going to send it to you in the mail. I was like, send it to me ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tripping. Because I'm chilling. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get back to it. From, I'm a whole other dude from when we got into it, and I just made that quick move to go, yeah. I really want to play football. So he ended up giving me a 40% scholarship to uh, go out there and play football in Oklahoma. And I, that's why you see me. I was yeah. gone. Gone quick. quick. It, was, it quick was quick, too. Yeah, it was. So would you say the experiences that you endured at Lamar, when you got that call and made you say, man, doing what I'm doing right now, I'm coming immediately. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was like, because at the end of the day, I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. yeah. What were we doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some people was out there doing their thing, and I commend them. Yeah. Uh, I was one of those guys that kind of, it was new to me. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So a lot of the, a lot of the, and people know really what happened. You know yeah. what I mean? We ain't got to speak on our left. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? But it was a it was a rough time yeah. for a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we was really out there thugging. Yeah. Like, it wasn't no, just because we was at Lamar, we in college. <laughs> it was not like that. It was no. like, we in Beaumont. <laughs> we in Beaumont. Just real quick, we in Beaumont and you in Houston. I mean, you from Houston. It's not, they not taking you like that. You it know what I mean? It was war, bro. It's a war. It was war, bro. It, if if it, you really want to get real to it, it that's, the war. that's the word you want to use Every day. For. It's every not, it's day, no, every day you figure it's gonna be some type of beef or something. If we threw a party and we the ones that threw the party, <laughs> and we knew it was gonna be some, some extra after the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever, whatever it may be, and I'm like, man, I got to get away from this. shit. I tell yeah. people all the time, bro. Those times of my life were some of the most fun and dangerous times of my life. Sure, man. Bro, it's it's why I stayed away from Beaumont. So, mind you, this th- that year for, for sure. y'all is the first year I'm a father, okay. basically, right? Yeah. I'm going to work, doing this, taking care of my kid, but all my partners are out there. They coming back home. Oh, man, this, this, and this. Yeah, you telling me all the good shit. What, what about the bad shit? Right. Oh, well, right. Yeah, you know, this happened, that happened. So, it's like, oh, I'm cool, man. I'm going to stay my ass right here. I, I got this little girl to take care of. No, nah, it definitely was some great times. Yeah. But it was some it's some crazy times. Some grimy as well. times, bro. It like, was some grimy times out there. And, and, but you look at it now, like you survived it. 
You know what I mean? And you still going. We, we right mm-hmm. here today to tell about right, it. Right, right. And, and one time we're gonna have to really sit down and yeah, talk about cause, it. Cause oh, and yeah. get the and get the all the real ones, everybody get the yeah. real ones around and talk everybody, about it, bro. bro. Yeah. That'd be crazy. Cause It'll it was be. it was some bro. Listen, Man, I'm getting you don't I got chills. I don't y'all can't yank better yeah, see my skin, bro. It. I'm getting chills. Like yeah. it was You'll never understand it. And that's before social media. Yeah, that's before it, anybody it, was posting about everything that was going on. So what's crazy is like this is how we started hearing about like Oh, that bag can sit right there. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say you good. This is how we started hearing about well, at least me, right? Like I started hearing about everybody else. On the east side, right? They're like, oh, you know, such and such. Now, who the hell is that? Oh, they, they, it might be Channel View. See, wherever yeah, it was, east side was, like, ended up, we ended up being it's deep like, it was there, deep, okay. Yeah. Like, I, I kind of know who you're talking about, but then you start hearing these names over and over and over, and then you had a right. party at home. Once you had a party at home, this is the introduction now of everybody kind of coming together, like, oh, okay, like, we, we really deep. And it was so crazy. I was introduced to y'all by association. Right. Just from going to school on the north side. I'm not mm. from the north. Not from the east. I'm from the south side. Yeah. But okay. my grandma was working on the north. So when I got to high school, she was like, you're not going to school out there. I already know what's going on out there. Mm. She had this great idea to send me to Booker T. Yeah. One of the worst. <laughs> 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 she, thought she was changing something. I'm supposed to go to Yates. So she's yeah. like, I'm taking you away from Yates. You going to Booker T. That shit is tomato, tomato. Yeah, yeah no, for and, real. And I'm talking about... When I say went from worse to worse, sir, that ain't even no word. Worse yeah, to worse. So real. when I get to Lamar, it was a cultural shock, but it was a cultural shock in the manner that man, y'all told me college was going to be this way. It's the same shit. The same shit times 10 because there ain't no principals yeah. getting in the middle yeah, of nothing. For real. It ain't no no counselor saying, hey, man, come talk to me. Something. It wasn't none of that, bro. It was all gas, no brakes. No, for real, bro. Oh, yeah. gas, no brakes. But like I that. did meet some. I met you. I met a, a bunch of lifelong friends, lifelong partners, bro. Sure. I met a bunch of people bunch that of I them. still rock with to today. May not talk to them every day. May not see them every day. But I met a bunch of people that I still fuck with. But that's why I said social media wasn't yeah popping back then. Because if it was, like it'd have been so much shit that we could biggie off of yeah. and just we we'll to this. see. If we was in this, if, if we just seen this in the future, yeah, bro, we would have, you know what I mean? It just have that to piggyback on, and it's just because it was a lot of content being made, and we didn't even bro, know. What, <laughs> bro? What for real? It oh was a lot my of shit going god! On back then, and the parties, yeah, the, bro. The, the, the people, bro. If, if you realize how many people that became somebody from that era. From that era, for sure. It's ridiculous, bro. Yeah, not for real. And I ain't even finna get the name and names. Right. But if you know, you know. Sure. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. It's so. Anyway, so you 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 leave, you go to, is it Bacon? Is that what yep, it's called? I went to Bacon, and I went out there, and uh, what's so crazy is, is this, this is an ongoing story of just, like, I want to play football, I want to play football, but I didn't get to play football at Bacon either. Uh, That's crazy. I didn't get to play. So that wasn't the college you actually paid it. I ended up playing pro ball. I went to. I went and tried out for arena team, and I made the arena team. So I could have sworn I thought I saw you. I play. mean, yeah, I'm at practice. I'm playing like a motherfucker, but I ain't get to ever play in the game. That's crazy. Yeah, it, that it killed me too, bro. Like that's it, the same one your bro went to. Uh, who the college? Your brother? Nah, my my younger brother went to a school in California. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, but I went to he, but. To make that make sense, he came out there and was training with me for a while. When okay. I first got back into it, after leaving Lamar, yeah. you know, of course, I locked back in. Yeah, I stopped yeah, yeah. smoking. I stopped doing all the stuff that I thought I was doing at Lamar, locked in. And, of course, I brought my little brother with me and just had him out there with me. And uh, But just to tell you about the story, so yeah. uh, Lamar didn't want to release my transcripts because I owed him for a dorm. Mm-hmm. So I was so already on right. my – they didn't have the the uh, transfer portal and all that. No, so my no. years is gone. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in my senior year now, so I can either play or don't play. And yeah, then, of course I didn't get to play, and I ended up seeing the tryout for the the Oklahoma Defenders, which is the the pro team out there. Mm-hmm. Went out there and I made the team. And I went from not playing, and I ended up still keeping my scholarship though. That's cool. That's one thing. But I'm still that same guy that yeah. I am now. I'm motivating other players. Yeah. I am 
to me, <laughs> the best receiver on the team. Yeah. So it's like I'm still teaching them this and that. So the coach kind of respected that, and he kept me on my scholarship. He could have right. told me, all right, you ain't going to play for us. You can go home. So why didn't you end up playing? What was that? Why I didn't why I didn't pay for the yeah. dorm? I don't, I'll be honest with you, this young, not even just locked in on it. like Because yeah. I didn't even, be honest with you, I didn't even check to see how much it was. That's cool. They just told me, nah, you ain't gonna, we ain't going to release your transcript. And I was just like, Duh. damn. But I really thinking about it because I just know me after, after all that. I became a coach now. Yeah. So I know how I would approach that situation. Okay. I would have probably did enough to put the battery in that kid's back that yeah. might not be motivated right. to be like, all right, this ain't what I'm – you know what I mean? Yeah, at the end of the day, the coach, a, like, you got to understand, like, you st- – yes, you're dealing with adults. But these right. are very young adults that still ain't got right. The, the right mindset to be like, let me keep following up with this. Because at that age, we wasn't following up with shit. Right, right. Because at the end of the day, it was – a. It was a new scenery yeah. to me. Mm-hmm. I had just got away from all the bullshit. Yeah. I'm like, man, I'm out here. It's cold as hell. It was a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I just was like, man, I'm just going to go to school and graduate. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And I ended up playing football, and that started taking my time. So I ended up leaving school. I left school, and I thugged it out. And then I became DJ First Class mm-hmm. in the middle of that season. Okay. So that's taking me like in Oklahoma, I was I was him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just being honest with you. And and that, and of course that's what made me wanna say, fuck it, I'm gonna go back home okay. and pursue this this craft. And uh but it was big for me because I had to start out just I took that shit from Lamar. I'm the I'm the promoter, I'm promoting parties out there. Well, we promoting parties in Lamar. Yeah. I'm finna go do this shit in Bay Cone. Nobody ain't, ain't doing I'm it like Houston. that. Yeah. 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 Ain't nobody doing it like me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which came into fruition. I was throwing the hardest parties. You know what I mean? And I ended up crossing Kappa. So but That's what I was just about to ask. But you did end up joining a fraternity. Right. How was that for you? It was, it was me. Yeah. Me. Me being me. You know what I mean? So... First, I had to get my GPA up because okay. I had went to Lamar and just lay down, didn't do shit. A lot of you know people I mean? don't understand that either, bro. Once you got to Lamar, yeah. it wasn't never about school. Nah, for After sure. After you figured out what Lamar was, yeah. it wasn't about school. School was secondary for, for yeah. us. For yeah, for, for sure. the kind of young men that we were at that time. Right. School, it wasn't about school. Tell me, bro, that Lamar episode got to happen. Because it's I'm so much it, shit I want to just keep saying. Bro, it'll be wanna... people. It'll be people it, all in there in that room. All right, your turn. Yeah, <laughs> Ten minute real. segments for everybody. I'm for telling real. you, it'll, it'll, be, be it'll be crazy, bro. But now, nah, so at the end of the day, I kind of, like I said, the Lamar shit was big. Yeah. yeah. But once I got to Oklahoma, it's just like, they never seen none of that shit. So you was the DJ you, style and yeah. the you was out in the forefront of all of it. Yeah, I took like this real talk. I took snapbacks to to Oklahoma. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's when like that's what Houston yeah. culture does for a people lot of don't people. know nothing about. And then I'm in Muskogee. I ain't like I'm in Tulsa. Yeah, or something you was. Like yeah, that. you was. I'm in a, a deep small country. town. Like I'm in a small I don't town. Even know what so. That's <laughs> So it's deep. Like it, just, it's, it, it was a it was a nice time for me though. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It yeah. made me. I was by myself. It made me lock in on because I chucked at Lamar. Yeah. If you don't know what chucking is, that's like pre pledging. Me too. You know I did I mean? too. I chucked at Lamar, but nigga, tell me my GPA. It was like, <laughs> well, get up out of here, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna but, lie. Nigga, told me one night walked to that water burger. Yeah. Yeah, I oh told him. God. Yeah, I told him I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't be doing this. <laughs> yeah, I can't. He do know it. who he is too. Still, my partner to this day. I ain't yeah, gonna say yeah, his name. Yeah, yeah, boy, I'm not doing that. Boy, yeah. you, you got the right one. <laughs> so yeah, with that being said, man, I definitely had to humble myself. I definitely it was, but I'm a guy. If I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And when I first seen it, as far as just like the the how they handled themselves and. A lot of the stuff that I heard in the background kind of had me like, man, nah, I ain't gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the, the day, I of course I'm gonna check everything out for myself, and this is being real. My experience was a lot different than a lot of people. Everybody's experience, yeah, is different, yeah. You know what I mean? But I had a respect for from my DP, my ADP, the people that pledged me that 
It really I was worked. already. I didn't yeah. need. I yeah. didn't, you know, some people need capital. Need yeah. this. I didn't need it, and they knew it. So yeah. it was kind of like, uh, and I said it humbly. I'm not just talking shit. It's just at the end of the day, I was already DJing. I was already playing football for the most part. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, it's like I didn't really need to do it, but I was actually glad I did it because yeah. started with five, ended with four. I seen a lot of shit in me that I, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I stood up for some niggas that I barely knew at yeah. the time. You know what I mean? And it's just something that I've always done. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I don't really play nothing about anybody that I really rock with. But then the day, it just made me kind of like, man, this shit is hard. I'm telling you. The hardest thing I've probably ever done. <laughs> but at the end of the day, when you lock in on something, and you ain't got to be the, the, the Superman of, of the line uh -uh. either. uh uh I ain't worried about being the the superstar and all that. Just that's let one me chill. thing. That's one thing that if I if I say that I regret, not even a regret, but I should have kept on that path and became yeah. part of one of those. Nah, because movies. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, man, I built my my what. What's so crazy is my ace is from Houston, mm. but my I'm the trade club. My deuce is from Arkansas, and the uh, tail which. He had pl he didn't pledge. He was just a cap at first, mm -hmm. but of course, yeah, y'all know what it yeah, is. Uh -huh. So he had to go ahead and pledge. Yeah, and yeah, get, yeah. You know what I mean? So he pledged to make sure everything, everything was cool. Was everything. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I'm still we still locked in to this day, and it's like you know what I mean? It it's a brotherhood. For it's a real. brotherhood yeah. for real, and bro. It's, it it's teaches never gonna you go stuff away. that you don't really know about yourself, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? And it's crazy. We Would I do it again? No. <laughs> 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 and, and it's crazy. That we talking about this because we had a guy up here that we was talking about local Houston clicks, mm -hmm. and one of my things was, bro, this is very very similar to pledging. This is very similar to having one of those brotherhoods. There's no for difference. Sure. It's sure. violence in pledging. Yep. It's violence in taking up for them. It's fun in the shit. Yep. It's a lot of notoriety in either one of the, the things. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Do you gotta so, have knowledge to be a gangster? Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he fucking that's what, right. That's what I'm that, saying. That, so yeah, it, exactly. it, the only difference is like one is supported by some type of institutions, and, and the other one's not. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So it's that's like it. in yeah, the sure. end, bro, you gonna learn. You gonna learn bro, both routes. Not for sure, and, and they ride for each other the same way as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like DJ it. first class, DJ first class. We move into that. Yeah, of your life. Yeah, that shit crazy. Um, a lot of people don't even know. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, don't get into don't the part of the DJ life first class. that you in now, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of a lot people, of people don't, don't know. Like, know. And, yeah. and, and what's so crazy is that DJing is something that I'm still, like, I'm boiling on it now. Like, I'm passionate hick. about. Yeah, it's just something I've always been... Music I've always been passionate about. Like, when I was... When dudes was listening to... I, I don't even know who they was listening to. I was listening to Jay-Z for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. Like, when I was younger. Like... I had an argument with one of my friends, and he was just like, man, I was listening to Jay-Z when I was like, bro, the name of my clique is the Dynasty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I was really listening to Jay-Z when I was at a young age yeah. because that's the type of stuff that was moving me, and I think music was always a part of me because everybody don't rock with Jay-Z. You yeah. don't even understand. Yeah. Some people don't even understand him and, and his, his cadences and all that stuff. So at the end of the day, um, I always wanted to do it, but my partner, A. Hines, man, shout out to A. Hines, he always had the equipment to do it. You know, I ain't never had the equipment and stuff, mm -hmm. so I go over there and watch him do it, which he's still my favorite DJ, excellent at doing it. So I got to learn the tricks and trades early without even, you know what I'm saying, having the money and stuff right. to get the equipment. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, of course, we get older. We get to go to Knicks and all. Yeah. What was that, Toke Bar? Toke Bar. Man. Uh, uh, what's the one with when the Energizer, green? Energizer. Energizer. And, 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 we supposed to have him up here. I got to reach uh, back out to my boy. And Rogers was just, come, oh, my God. Like, that shit was so different. Like, them it's, niggas. It's so crazy, bro. All of these names that we name it, we saw the beginning of yeah, all yeah, of them sure. cats, bro. For sure. Every single Energizer, one Energizer, the Rogers. Like, we, sure. And these are big. Names Rogers right him. now, bro. Rogers, Rogers, is, Rogers, is he, he global. He hard. <laughs> yeah. Rogers out of yeah, here. He hard. Shout and out we, my guy. And we used to be able to walk up to the DJ booth. Hey, play this right yeah, here, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. He probably you know he, he probably look at your ass. Yeah, crazy, he look at your ass crazy. But, <laughs> but but now you it's like you can't even do that to Rogers yeah, right yeah, now. Salute yeah. to Rogers though. Salute, but salute to for him sure. for sure. But yeah, so man, I got a story with Rogers too. So 
DJ First Class, like I said, started in Oklahoma, was cool. I was doing the biggest venues in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. like big venues on a, on a, it's really, I'm not just playing hip hop though. You know what I mean? It's country bars. Yeah. Mm. The name of the club is T-Bones. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, it's country for sure. <laughs> the name of the club, T-Bones. So I got to play the wop, wop, the, the line dances here and there. They in there with their boots on. And all that stuff kind of broke me into, like, man, I want to go home and lock in on this club scene in Houston. Because, yeah. you know, I'm still taking my little breaks, mm -hmm. spring break or whatever. I'm coming home, and, and, and it's, it's so different out there, but I'm DJing. But I don't get the DJ uh, in Houston yet mm -hmm. because I like, don't nobody really know me on that side. Right, right, right. So shout out my guy D Mac, man. D Mac, shout out D Mac, yeah. bro. Yeah, first one to give me a chance. Uh, what was it? Reputation, I think it was. It was a club that was upstairs, uh, and I was just DJing outside, like on a patio. You know what I mean? The main DJ was in the club, yeah. but I was just on the little outside. Patio yeah, DJing. hey. And opportunity would, is opportunity. Yeah, opportunity yeah. is opportunity, man. And I took that and started building relationships, DJing here and there, off and on. Then I got on with A Life. Uh, got on with A Life. Shout out my guy Jacob. Me and Shout him still got a, a great, great relationship right now. Jr. We still got a great relationship right now. Um, but we're gonna get into the 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 just do it while I stop DJing. Mm -hmm. um, so of course. I had an artist at, at one point in time, Donnie Be Good. Donnie Be Good. Yep. Man, how is Donnie Be Good? I don't want to get sidetracked, but how nah, is Donnie nah, Be Good? I, I, I think he's doing good, bro. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That's an old DJ. Yeah, yeah, old DJ. Yeah, you know, I think he's doing good, bro. I haven't I, seen I'm, much from him. Or, I used to see him a lot. Yeah. yeah I think that, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, that's a whole. We don't even got enough time for that. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole nother conversation as well. It's all about you. At the end of the day, yeah, but show, but show, shit. Still shout out to old Donnie. I yeah. don't I don't do no and one thing about me, bro, I wanna see everybody make yeah. it. You know what I mean? Like everybody this ain't wins, no bro. this ain't no fake hate over yeah. here. Like at the end of the day, like we ain't buddy buddy like we used to yeah. be, but at the end of the day, I still want him to be great. Shit, yeah. if we make it tomorrow. I need my tw nah, just <laughs> nah, nah, nigga, nah. ain't playing. <laughs> nah, it's all good. I ain't doing no nah, chicken, bro. <laughs> nah, but in, in our seriousness, though, um, we was doing a showcase, and uh, of course, I was DJing. Let me, I was DJing at the venue, the Gatsby, uh, all them spots. That's yeah. back when that back, was yeah, back yeah, when, when that was, was jumping. Popping. You know what I mean? And um, I'm doing my thing, and he got a showcase one night. We go to the Galleria to get outfits for the showcase. Come back to the car, laptop, speakers. Not speakers, mm. I'm sorry, I didn't have no speakers. Uh, the turntables, gone. Ooh. Gone. The night of the showcase, bro. Ooh. And to make the story crazy, he ended up winning the fucking showcase. First place. That's crazy. Yep, $500, and we got like a video or something like that. But it was, of course, we we excited about that, but it's like, damn, like what I'm finna do From now. From zero. Yeah. What I'm gonna do now? That's you know what I mean? Crazy, so it was, bro. Ah, life and, happened though. And bro. with our story, it's crazy, bro. With our stories like that, we don't become who we become. No, nah, for sure, for sure. That's I agree wild. with that. What year is this? Roughly? Um, I want to say fifteen. Yeah. So this is 2015. You say so? It's still DJ equipment. Still ain't like cheap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like no. now you can get your. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I had a MacBook. I mean, you kind of want to do it. You you can do it on different things, right, right. but you got this little. You want it your way. Exactly. Yeah, man, yeah, I wanted man. my MacBook back, my 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 turntables back. And so uh you, and I'll just be honest. MacBook back then. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, that was a lick I couldn't take at that time yeah, either, no. bro. <laughs> I couldn't take that lick at that time, bro. Like I had to go get a real job. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I had to go get a real job, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it it's just at the end of the day, I just had to go do what I had to do. And it lasted for a while, you know what I mean? Because I just, at, at the end of the day, you start getting that consistent money. You're like, yeah, you're going to stay in there. You're going to stay in there. I start selling cars. Damn. I remember that. I, was I remember cars. that. I, I remember was doing that. good, too. Yeah. I was fucking with it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was making me money. Like, it was cool. Like, but it's a, it's a, it's a, I'll tell you this much. If you got anybody in your family or anybody you know in the car business, you talk to them before you do anything. With buying a car, mm -hmm. anything like it's it's knowledge in that game that everybody don't know that you need to know, and uh, I don't know everything, but I know people that do. You know, what I mean, I know enough, but I, I I like I said, I know people that do know it. So I was doing that for a little while, and 
Jobs not for me. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm not one of them people that like to be told what to do. And that's kind of what our jobs kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know what I mean? I rocked with it. That's kind of what they supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I want to be. That's why I want to be my own boss, bro. Yeah, for sure, sure. And, um, and that's what, I'll be honest with you, the pandemic hit. And I stopped. The, you know, of course, the car lots was that getting shit real was, scarce. Yeah, like it was like nobody was. even coming to buy no car. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? So I was like, man, couldn't man. buy no car. And yeah, you couldn't even leave the house down there. So spending more money to get there than you are making. Right, yeah, and then yeah, they man. they start upping the price on the Your cars. Was so high, like it was crazy. Like it was just. So I was like, man, I gotta figure something else out. And I've always worked out. You know what I mean? I, like I said, I played football for a while. I stay consistent in the gym. I found my love for boxing. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started, like, staying consistent with the boxing. And, like I said, the pandemic hit. And, you know, we was all social media goons then. Mm -hmm. so everybody. Like, everybody was kind of creating content on the low. Then, like, that's when Rogers was staying up from uh -huh. 10 to 10 <laughs> in the morning, 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. Man. Yeah. So we was like, man, I'm recording all my workouts. You know what I mean? People just was really rocking with it at the time. And it just, you know what I'm saying? They put a battery in my back to go on, pursue that, the personal training route. Yeah. And shit. That's best, decision, best decision I ever made because it's, it's opened up so many doors for me. You know what I mean? Just relationships that I never seen coming into. And that's kind of that's kind of what I wanted to get into. Yeah. You know, we talked about the earlier years. We talked about the football path. We talked about the car path. We talked about the DJing path. And now, man, we seeing you. It, it, it looks as though things are going in in the trajectory that you are going in right now is there's no end to it. Right. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, I man. see. I see I you with that, the bro. who's who's and you talk all the about time. Consistency. Consistency, bro. Consistency. And, I, and, and that's one thing. When people come in here and they sit on this couch or they sit on that couch or they sit on that couch, whatever couch that they sit on and we talk to them, they always follow up. Man, bro, y'all inspire me. You know, I, I want to do this. No, for sure. And I always tell people, just do it. Yep. Not for sure. I, I can't. That's all it is, bro. That's all it is. Just do it. I promise you that's all it is. And the number one thing I always tell them is, it's about consistency. Yep. And the reason I say that is, and I, I used I used to hear that before I got my own. Right. Before before I started doing my own. It's just simple. It's hard. It's yeah. it's so <laughs> it's so simple that it's hard and, and it's crazy because I used to hear it, bro. And I'm like, man, nigga, how true, you doing though, it? Yeah. Fuck that consistency. See, you standing telling me consistency, man, how you got here? Yeah. And he the the the, the, the real thing is consistency. consistency. Yeah. It kept showing up. Sure. It kept being in front of people. It kept making people see them, bro. And that's sure. literally all it is. And with you, that's all I see. You keep showing up. You keep making people see you. And now we here, bro. No, for sure. I appreciate that. Yeah, Hope for sure. Man. Uh, I mean, I've always been that dude that, like, I feel like you got to show up first. The mm -hmm. hardest thing is to do is to show up. Like, to the gym. Like, my clients, I tell them, you get through the dope. It's easy after that. Yeah. The work might be hard, but after you're done with it, you're going to feel so much better. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I just, I really just stayed grinding. I'll be honest with you. When I was DJing, I was kind of doing the same stuff I'm doing now. It just was a different lane. Yeah. Like I was DJ, I DJ with Watts. Yeah. I DJ with Rogers. You know what I mean? I was doing that stuff back then. It's on a different field now because... I've made my own lane, I feel like. Because you got cause you got a thousand personal trainers. I could have came in and was just like, I'm a personal trainer. Uh, I'm going to do this. But when I put the boxing into it, it just changed it because at the end of the day, I'm really like a passionate about yeah. all of it. But the boxing is something that everybody wants to do, yeah. but they can't do uh -huh. it until they do it consistently. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's something that's a challenge. It's not just like, all right, I'm coming here lifting weights and stuff like that. And then once I did that, that kind of opened me up to where I am now. Uh, shout out to Justin Allen as well. Because uh, he gave me my, he was the first real legit gym that I was at. And that's how me and Harden got cool. Mm -hmm. 
You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, me and Harden got cool because he was in the gym one day, and we were just rocking out. Gave him a couple drills. His trainer, basketball trainer, which is a known basketball trainer in Miami, he uh, won the box. So I did the boxing with him from that. So for a while, nigga was just kind of like boxing man, boxing man. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, boxing man. Hey, boxing man. Come over here and show me how to do the jam. Hey, if you know me, I'm like, <laughs> Hey, Rashard, bro. Hey, my, my, my name's Rashard. Hey, come on, my name's Rashard, bro. Who's that boxing man? So at the end of the day, he, he, he don't call me boxing man no more at the end of the day. But that relationship is crazy because that's James Harden, that, bro. Bro. Yeah. I, I and, want and, people that that's really him. I'm going to call you Rashard when I say this. Yeah. Rashard, it's crazy because I always, I'd be like, how would I be if I gain a relationship yeah. with somebody like that? And it's easy to be on social media yeah. and say what you would say about a James Harden. For sure. It's easy to type, even a Kirko. Shout out to Kirko, bro. That's yeah, my motherfucking sure. dog. We gonna, yeah. He going to get on this couch in one motherfucking day. Hey, but, for sure. I'm, I'm going to stop asking people to reach out to you too, Kirk. Oh, no. Nah, I ain't, ain't hey. asking nobody yeah. to reach out because he going to come to us nah, when it's time. going to pull up for, for sure. sure. So when it's Real time. But, do it. but motherfuckers be quick and always be wanting to say certain shit, bro. Until you get by, motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. For shit, nigga, so. you, you, don't, you don't know what kind of pressure. Nigga, that's James Harden. Yeah. yeah. You don't you know, know what kind of pressure that is, boy. Exactly. <laughs> that's a whole nother. That's a whole, whole nother, nother level. Beast, I, I think that one thing that with both of y'all, right, both of y'all have this, that no matter where you're at, what the situation is, from what I've always seen is y'all make it real comfortable where it's like, bro, we strangers, but within 30 seconds, we feel like partners. Yeah, right. We feel sure, like so. real homeboys. And yeah. I think that y'all probably, because for y'all, it's like, this is what y'all do, yeah. right? No, for sure. But from the outside looking in, sometimes I'll be like, man, this bitch, like, especially with him, <laughs> man, this bitch got a gift over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and you, know, you, you, you know what? I'm starting to lean into it more, mm-hmm. bro, but you know what it is? It's for because, sure. I'll be seeing it. You feel what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's more, it's, it's, it's like, it's crazy. I had what I wanted to say, and then I don't know. It's 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 just that, bro. Why? Why? Like right. why? Why? Like, why, why not? Why, why not? not? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, shout out yeah. to Russ. Why not? Yeah. Now for real though. So, what? This is crazy because Kirk told me this on the we was at a video shoot, and he came up to me. He was like, "Bro, it's crazy the stuff that we get to see." And bro, and this was on that. That's my vibe. Yeah. 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 That, remember that? That yeah. was on that video shoot. So I'm like. At the end of the day, since then, and I want to say that was during, like, pandemic time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I kind of started doing my personal training in that time. So it just was like, since then, bro, I've seen so much crazy shit. People wouldn't believe me. You know what I mean? And it's because you get into that, like, even, like you said, just making people comfortable. Like, me and Harden, like, I had been around him like two or three times in the gym. And then, of course, we started going out with him every so often. Then 13 came around. Mm -hmm. So 13 kind of made everybody like a family because we was the only people that was really going there for a while. It was like open for like a month before everybody really knew. picked up on it. So, like, we going down to the basement and and all that. It's a bowling Bowling alley alley down down there. there. Lil Wayne performed there before people really even, even knew it was there. Crazy. You know what I mean? So it's crazy stuff going on. So... Once you're around that, I don't never pick up no bottles. Mm. I order my own drinks. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do no lame shit. I'm not holding no conversations yeah. with them. We talk, but it's got, like, I bullshit you not. This is a real story. He came up to me and was like, I'm getting sick of y'all, but it's me. you like, he got his friends. I got my partners, and we all cool, but they going to rock with each other. We yeah. going to rock with each other, which is me, Justin, and Bruce. Shout out my guy, mm-hmm. Bruce Dreamington, which is doing amazing. Um, so we kind of in our little circle. He was like, man. And I was like, man, we, you know, we just kicking it. We appreciate the vibes. He was like, nah, always. So, boom, you get to look in. First of all, you know, you can't have your phones. Yeah, Nobody can really 100%. have your phones. Except if you some of the, if you one of the people, like, like at some point, it, like, I've never got my phone took except for the last one he had. And I signed the NDA. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which it wasn't, it wasn't like no crazy shit going on. But at the end of the day, that was the first time it happened. But the time before, I'm FaceTime on my, with my mom. Yeah. Like, just showing her the vibes. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm dancing. And he took the phone. Like, who you on the phone with? And so my mom talking on FaceTime with Harden. That's crazy. And he was like, we, you on Call of Duty? 
<laughs> my mom drive trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mom drive trucks. <laughs> so uh, he was like, "Yo, Call of Duty." So that was it. Was cool. She she was like, yeah. when I talked to her again, she was like, "I was shaking." I didn't, it was crazy for her, but yeah. that, you know what I'm saying. That's that's what it is. You get to feel those vibes, and then there's also people that you you want to bring to the table. You want yeah. them to. This is true. Everybody can't go, I'm telling you. but you want to bring people around gradually so they can kind of get into that ambiance yeah. of what's really going on. Because yeah. I'm rubbing shoulders with people that I'm really trying to build relationships with because I'm trying to keep that aura going for myself. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you ain't in the, I ain't in that in that room bullshitting. Right. Yeah. You I'm ain't thinking about it just right. to have a good time. Right. It's I ain't in there like, all right, why I'm, uh, it's why I'm, uh, again, it's why a am reason. I in here? It's a reason. Why am I in here? It's a you reason. Know what I mean? And so. it's been, it's been consistent now for, it's about, we've been locked in for a couple of years now to where I done got cool with baby. Um, I ain't gonna say cool with him, but I, we, he know who I am when, yeah. when, when we in the room. Uh, it's just, those relationships are just like, why? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So I just keep those. As a purpose. Yeah. It's, As it's, a purpose. Because at the end of the day, I have I have a, a superstar in the up and coming. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I have somebody that's going to be in that, Lord, if the Lord says the same, uh, it's going to be in that same aura, King Jr. Yeah. You know what I mean? He 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 punishing everything. Like So at the end of the day, he's <laughs> destined for all these things to happen. So I need to be up on my game of, the ins and outs. You of, need to know how to move. You need to know what yeah. the situation's looking like. Yeah, Everything is educational, bro. And yeah, those and are you, the things that I think about. Go ahead. I was going to say, you also got to get comfortable in those rooms, <clears throat> yeah. right? Because you sure. don't want to be the person that's just like... Rear out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Starstruck. Like, nah, you need to be able to move I, yeah, yeah, regularly yeah. in there. Yeah. And and I... And I, I ain't going to say... I could tell you the one time I was star, starstruck. It was a... Uh, uh, Trey had a, a concert at... House of Blues, and my best friend DJ Young Sam. He, How uh, Young Sam doing, bro? I don't mean to he, sidetrack. He, he doing good, bro. Young Sam, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got DJ his own podcast. That's podcast another one right that, that yeah, yeah. came up during that time. And it was, yeah. Man, that's crazy, Sam bro. Still, he's still slim DJ, yeah. so he's still doing exceptional well, exceptionally well. Uh, he got on his, his his fitness stuff, man, which I'm very proud of, man. Yeah. I that's one thing I like to see. I like to see when everybody start working out. Start working you know out, yeah, I mean? yeah. That's one thing I be like, because some people be like. We, we, we next. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh, no, hey, man, no, you pull laughing. Up, bro. I'm no. telling you, I'm serious. Man, pull Fitness up to the show. gym, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm serious, bro. I'm serious. We Y'all got to pull up to the gym. It's, it's on uh, the first session on me. You know what I mean? Say next. <laughs> Just say come next. in there, get acclimated, and see what y'all like about it. But in all seriousness, though, um, uh, Young Sam kind of locked in on. What, what was I talking about? Uh, Starstruck. Oh yeah, so when I was uh when Young Sam was DJing for Trade the Truth at on the uh at House of Blues, and uh I want to say Juvenile uh came up there. I wasn't like I'm like all right, this is cool. But Ti came up with like I'm doing one song, which you know about that, and that's it. And that's all he said. And then he performed the song. But I was just like, damn, nigga, that's Ti. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm a Jeezy fan. Yeah. But it was just like, and this was like 2014, 2015. Yeah. He was real. He, yeah. He I, was I. Like, I was like, man, that shit crazy. That, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But that's what I'm talking about, bro. It's always been that. Like, while I'm on stage back there, that's even though yeah. that was Young Sam's yeah. uh, show. And, and, you and there flow, for a reason, bro. I was there, though. You there for a I reason. I was there, though. You and, there and, for a reason. And I've been knowing Young Sam since we was five, six years old. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to... And and not to sidetrack, but just to see that because we end up like moving. I I left. I moved to the east side. Uh -huh. So that was before we we didn't have each other phone number. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So we didn't find each other again to MySpace. Yeah, we was best friends. And then I found him. And when I found him again, he was a Switch House DJ. Crazy. That blew my. You know what I mean? I crazy. Was like, so it's just like man, it's crazy how life worked. Life, you know what I mean? Wild, and, bro. And, and but everybody's story is different, but. We all kind of in the same atmosphere, same trying to do the same, same pocket, thing, bro. bro. In that same pocket, just different lanes, bro. Yeah, and that's sure. why that's why I'm so grateful to be able to listen and hear the things that you've experienced, the things you've went through, and past people that we've interviewed. I'm so grateful to hear about all of this because even though I wasn't there, it was like. I see what's happening, but right. I really want to know no, what yeah. really what's happened. really no, happening. I, I, you know imagine what I'm it like this, though, right? Imagine seeing 
all these dudes on the east side moving, right? Like, you, you got to think my age. You got Kirk, Chalky, Kevin, Rutt. That's yeah. just on this side. Yeah. Over there, you got you, uh, uh, fucking Johnny, Johnny uh, fucking DJ. Then you got Rob and all them, d Like, yeah. everybody's just yeah. making their moves, right? So, but it, it's weird because for me, it was always like, you got all these circles. They're, they're separate circles. Yeah. Yeah, everybody cross paths here and there, and maybe there's an intertwine of a circle and a circle, but these circles are moving all at different times. So it's like, you don't see the whole story. You don't yeah. know everything that's going yeah, for on. Sure. And that's kind of what, what, not to go back to Lamar, that's kind of what squad up. Yeah, kinda was, squad bro. up, like, bro. Like, God, like man, we kind of was like, we kind of was up. like, uh, we was. It was like you had your main characters, mm-hmm. yeah. but everybody was squared up. Yeah, you know what bro. I mean? So at the end of the day, it was like one family. You know what yeah. I mean? Just like just like shout out B fam. It was the same yeah. thing on the other side. And and that was big because you kind of, like I said, just with the podcast thing, just like back then, we our brothers. It ain't no competition. You just want to be the yeah. best. You just want to be the best, you know bro. I mean? And that's yeah. really what it was. Yeah. And, and, and I've always stood on that like, I don't compete with anybody. I do me. I stand on me. I'm big on me. Yeah. I'm a I'm a promote me. I'm going to make sure people see me, like you said. Yeah. And it's because who else gonna do it? Man, yeah. you do it well, bro. You do it at a high level, and it's getting higher, bro. And it's respected. Yeah, I respect for sure. it for sure no, because, I, like you I, just I, said, I bro. It. We all was there, bro. And and for a person like me, I was always who I am. But it was like overshadowed because it was always personalities that was just mm-hmm. out in the forefront, right. bro. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And and, and it because I'm I, just to because I can see yours, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Because you're getting comfortable yeah, with it now, yeah, yeah. and you're moving and grooving on it now, and that takes a whole nother uh, uh, cojones. I'm you know telling you, because at the end of the day, you could. I think I'm funny as hell. Yeah, people think I'm funny, but it ain't many people that's gonna see me sit in front of a camera and be funny. <sighs> yeah. Bro. But you starting to pick up on what you doing, and you being and it's, consistent. And with it's it. hit. And and I tell people all the time, and that that motherfucker, I, I I give it to him a little bit too. He like, bro, just do it. Yeah. And people don't understand. It's just you and the camera, bro. Yeah. And I talked to uh, shout out to um, damn, he in Cali right now. I can't think of my boy name. Uh, start with a K two from the H. Okay. Funny comedian. Uh. Ah, damn, why I can't? My, my I can't bad, think bro. Of it either, brother. My bad, bro. I'm going to think of your name. I'm, I'm going to say it. <laughs> but he used to always tell me, he's like, bro, you just got to do it. And I ain't had that many conversations. He's like, bro, you got to do it. And he was like, nigga, I came home one night from work, from work overnight. And I said, bro, I'm not going back to that job. Yeah. Nigga put his camera in his room and he just started making videos. Yeah. And it's crazy because I be having all these ideas. I don't write nothing down. Yeah. I don't nothing. It's just shit just a pop up, bro. And yeah. when you got it like that, it's so crazy because you really one of them ones. Yeah, bro. for sure. But you don't know until you put it out there. You just got to keep going, bro. And like every time it's so I just simple consistently to keep saying do that shit, shit, bro. It's so simple to say it, bro. It's so simple to but say you know, it, it, but it's true. Yeah, and, and sometimes you do need somebody else to, to nah, kind of sure. put that, yeah. that yeah. battery in you because I, mean, I think that's how... This King Key Runs, man. No, God damn, no, King Key Runs. Sure. Wow. Okay. God damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out my brother. That, yeah. And then that's my dog. You see what I'm saying? And that's another thing. Like, all these relationships, because I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, all these relationships, I, I end up kind of like, how do I know all these people? Yeah. Like, for real, though. Like, 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 so I was walking, came, trained with me. <laughs> it's, it's, that shit cool. Yeah. I fuck yeah. with it. I'm a Sauce Walker fan. Yeah. But. The first time he came around is because I was already training Sosa. But yeah. it's just like, how does shit keep happening? And you know, I wanted to. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but how does it keep I coming back know. to me? You know what I mean? And you know of what's course. crazy about you training Sosa? Nigga, I knew so- When Wiz Khalifa first came out here, I'll never forget, bro. Bro was yeah. in a big gray 750 bins, nigga. Sosa used to be in my mama house every single day. Yeah. Before Sosa was rapping. Nigga asked me, hey, Lee. Yeah, that's crazy. On my mama, bro. Yeah. yeah. And... Wiz Khalifa. You know he signed with yeah, Wiz for a while. that's what I'm talking about. That, that was the first one to sign him. Yeah. And Wiz come out here. This was during the uh, Cushion OJ era. What was a time. It Cushion OJ? Might have been Cushion OJ. It was right after that. Right after that. Right after that. Right after that. He come out here. He signed them. But at first, 
I don't know if y'all still deal with that, but it was all about the backpack boys. Nigga, he was he was yeah. with Khalifa. Man, you feel right, what I'm saying? Right. And he put them out, bro. Them niggas start, they changed the whole, I give it to them about changing the whole swag of A. Lee. Sure. Everybody got to wear chucks. All that kind of shit, bro. Oh, see, I don't know. See, you talk about, he don't know nothing about that uh, across the bridge. We don't know about that shit. See, that's what I'm saying. I, you yeah, know what nah, I'm I get what you're saying, we, though. We wasn't on yeah, that, though. Nah, we didn't come out here and change the whole scope of that shit. Everybody know me, no. I ain't put on a different pair of shoes till I got on about ninth grade. That's crazy. <laughs> Every pair of chucks you could think of. <laughs> nah, but see, but, but that shit. Right. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. that, I'm, I'm saying that to go back to say, Nigga, why do why was I there around that yeah. time when it happened? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, it's stuff it's definitely stuff that everything you you kinda see, yeah, for me, you kinda be like, all right, what's next? Yeah. All right, I, I did this, let's do this next. You know what I mean? Let's try to get the uh and it's not like a planned thing. Uh uh-uh. uh. The shit just happens. Yeah, it's and, happened, and it ain't coincidence I mean? either, right? Like I we've said this time and time again, bro. Fuck them coincidences. Everything happens for reason and purpose. Yeah, it's what sure. you do with it at that point yep. is why you're here. Yep. And I tell people, all right, you got momentum. Yep. Build on your momentum. Yep. Got to. Like, build on your momentum. Don't not, not keep going. Like, we, we, I've seen too many of the stories end up good mm-hmm. versus end up. You, of course, it's a lot end up bad. Yeah. But you see, like, you, I, how many people I know just didn't really reach success and, and, if they can do it, I can do it too. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. So and, that's and really talk, what I go yeah, off. We talking of. about the pinnacle of it. Yeah. We ain't talking about peeking in the door and you got to live something. something. Nah. We talking about we know people that has reached the pinnacle, bro. Shit, so you know that's what I'm saying. Real. And and like and that's no, it's it's not a coincidence that we saw this. Yeah. No. And we were around when this was happening. You just gotta keep, like I say, man. You gotta breathe in there, or you gotta just keep rubbing shoulders with them people. Having real conversations with them, not just talking to them when you need something. Yep. Like, it's real, real shit that you can learn. Like, you learn something every day, right? Every day. You know what I mean? You learn something every day. So, But you really got to get into it. Like, what? Like the hate motherfucker can tell you something. And it, it might sound good. Yeah. But you know, hey, motherfucker, that shit ain't something that yeah. I feel to just keep listening to. Me. Oh, bro. I don't want to keep listening to that. I'm going to listen to somebody that's always positive about the affirmations and was like, really want to do something. That's what I'm listening yeah. to. Like, I ain't finna sit back and, and you was a has been, so you hating on somebody that took the same situation that you had. I ain't doing it. And you, hey. I ain't doing I, it. Because I'll be honest with you, bro, when I first started personal training, dudes that I was already personal trainers was taking shots at me. And all that, I never really addressed it. I let them know that I knew. But then the day, I'm still doing it. I don't know what they doing. Yeah, yeah. And it is not no knock at them. But then the day, it was because they was worried about me. And they weren't worried about them. And I was worried about me. Yeah. And now I'm still here. Like it is. King of Fitness Boxing is is real. Yeah. That like, y'all could put up to my spot for real. Yeah. You know what I <laughs> mean? Like like and and people want the discredit because at the end, at the beginning of the day, oh, I want guys were saying they went to school for it and this and that. Like now, now me, I'm a certified personal trainer. I wasn't when I first started, but I am mm, now. Yeah. It's steps to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Steps to successful. Now and and I ain't told nobody this, but it's cool to go ahead and say I graduated from college in December. Yeah. Shout out to so, that. So 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 yeah, for so real though. So people people gotta worry about you. Yeah. And 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 Man, keep driving what to, you driving for, bro. bro. And, exactly. And if you run out of gas, like, bro, just fill back up. and Because everybody's going to run out of gas. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, bro. But that don't stop the show. That don't no stop sir. the trip. No, sir. Keep putting no. your fucking gas and stop worrying about what the next person is doing. Worry about your gas do it. first, I can't bro. do it because in the, the day, it's too much I want to do yeah. to be worried about what you're doing. Too much, bro. Too you know much. What I'm saying? And, it, and it, that's it, one thing I want to go back to, which I was talking about, like, build that, like, because you said y'all got together and it was like, Put a battery in it, like, cause build that team, bro. Yeah, like man. it's not just one person. That shit sounds great. Yeah, tell you, sound, the story sounds great, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you want to have a team to where where you missing it. This next person need to be mm-hmm. filling in that void or whatever. And if they ain't, that third person can do it. And cause like I said, like minded minds going they gonna rock. Yeah. You can bump heads, but you got one come and go, and success is. Always the goal. Man, I money always... Money's never really... Well, uh-uh. Money is the is a little bit of it. Ultimate goal is... Exactly. It's a big question, but... success is... Yeah. Money come with success. Yeah. I always think about it like this, bro. How many hands it took 
to put on that ball in Space Jam, bro, for that motherfucker to turn how it turned. Yeah. That's how I always look at it, bro. Not for real. It wasn't one hand, one bro. One hand, exactly. Man, it took a bunch of them to get the motherfucking power, Man, you bro. Gotta, now, you got a real life, build a team, and I've always been searching for a team, but I'm such a, hey, let's be real about this shit yeah. person. Everybody ain't serious about it. It ain't going to always, I ain't because I ain't going to be, I'll be honest with you, I ain't found a solid team yet because it has to be something that's real. Yeah. And, and a lot of people will want to join some shit just because they see some shit going yeah. good. Yeah. It ain't about how, what can Fuck you what bring like. here? Yeah. Fuck what it look like. Fuck what it look and like. And it ain't what? always like, you you can't always just depend on having your friends on your yeah. team either. Right. Right. Hell Sometimes no. it just don't Hell make sense. Yeah. So I ain't on either. <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you, bro. Yeah. And I love, I'm one of them guys that I, I love all my partners, but if I was really banking on that, Shit, y'all yeah. wouldn't y'all wouldn't be seeing me being consistent. Yeah, you know what I mean. So at the end of the day, but you gotta take that shit and know what yeah. it is for it. Like everybody got stuff going on, so it ain't like they doing it on purpose. And if they are, eventually that it's gonna relationship, show yeah, that yeah. relationship is not gonna be the it's, same. It's gonna show and you would know it. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like I do, I've been doing training for four or five years, and I don't know. Most of my most of my clients are strangers. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that's cool. You know what I mean. I ain't got no, I ain't doing no tripping about it. It's just something that I've already kind of accustomed yourself yeah, to. I'm it. like, shit, fuck it, y'all don't want to work that. Here's, work what, that. I, here's what I want to talk about. <laughs> Hold on, um, sure. podcasting, bro, and like you know, we started started early on, and we talked a little bit about it. We we breezed over it. I loved what you began to do and you were one of the first mm -hmm. uh shout out to the poor horseman um shout out to uh high maintenance pod mm -hmm. it's another it's a lot of different other podcasts in the city but you plus poor horseman y'all were some of the first and it was another one that um that they had a sneaker culture one yeah yeah i remember that one i can't think about what the, the, the name is laced up Laced up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that was a dope concept. Yeah, that was a dope concept. I hate they got away from that. Yeah, um, for sure. But y'all yeah, were some of the first people that, when I saw it, I said, man, that's that's me, bro. Yeah, for sure. You feel what I'm saying? And, that's what, and I'll be honest with you, because people reached out and told me that. Like, man, I want to be, I've been wanting to start my podcast. And I was like, man, shit, do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, because, you know, you of course, you got to that point in time where that's why I wasn't tripping about me having seasons because you get to the point to where now you want to soak in a little game. You yeah. want to look at everybody else stuff. And then you don't want to kind of over, overdo you. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause I was doing it by myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if I like with y'all, y'all giving out different perspectives. So people might be listening for like, I'm just going off my own mind. Yeah. It might be a little, all right, let's change it up. Let's yeah. get some guests yeah. on here type shit. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, uh, I want people to know, you know, I was doing internet radio. Mm -hmm. like, okay. okay. I was and when I was selling cars, I did the same thing. It was called uh Pilot Talk. Okay. Me, okay. that damn Monty. That and, damn Monty, and man. Tier me. Tier me. me. So it was it was us three and it was it was dope. You know what I mean? And that's what before it was podcasting. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Nobody really called it podcasting then. So uh they ended up changing my work schedule, so I couldn't do that shit no more. That's how easy. That's another Crazy. reason why I yeah. was like, you know what, man? Nah, I got other stuff I want to do. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? They changed my work schedule because I was doing the podcast on Wednesday, and they changed my off day from two to Tuesday. I mean, from Tuesday to Wednesday, so I couldn't do the podcast. I mean, to the, the internet show anymore. And I had Kenna Man on there before she popped off. Crazy, you know man. what I mean? Like I had Do, Do Beasy on there, D Lo, Donny B. Good. Beasy. That's crazy. Yeah, man. I had like I and. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing it a long it, time, it's, bro. It's yeah. so I've crazy. Been doing it a like, long time. like the names that you keep bringing up, Dope Beasy, bro. I remember, bro, when Dope Beasy was the mixtape, the, the, his most popular one, Blue Magic. Yep. Blue Magic. Yep. I remember First when. First dude to take me a, 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 a fl fly me out to a concert. We opened up for Scarface. Bro, it's mm. so crazy, bro. He come home, he have a whole show, show hidden. What was the name of the uh, store by Sauce Town? Bro, it was a clothing store. I can't SF2. remember the name. SF2. Yep. He used to always do shit in SF2, bro. Mm hmm And he have, he tell us, man, because my brother a rapper, too. I mean, I'll get on the bus. We going back to the house. 
it's gonna be yeah, yeah, man. We get to the crib, bro. And I'm just, I'm just remembering because it it's like yeah. every time you say a name, it's like. But well, I, we was and really I said around this, these different nah, people. That's at what I say, times. and I said, and I said that to say because I again, I say all this shit humbly, bro. But nigga been that nigga for a long time, long bro. time, bro. Like, and I've been doing it, I've been doing it to, to the point to where I want to keep. Surprising yeah. myself, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. I yeah. want to keep doing yeah. it big for myself. <laughs> like and, so, and, that, that in the future, the, in the future, the and, and yeah. the biggest star I know is to me is King Junior. Yeah, and that's yeah. real talk. Cause and that ain't even get got to where it's gonna be. And he's only because he's only fourteen. I promise you. And it, so it, it, about four years, I, you got to mold them. Now you, you 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 again. You get around all that stuff. Now you can mold them the yeah. right way, yeah. which he's already a great kid. Yeah. You just. You get around that and his father and all the people that's around us. T- see, this is the first time I was around. I'm, I'm on the team that yeah. I feel like mm. it's solid. It's solid, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I joined the team. And they locked in. Everybody not willing to do that. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Join the team. They want to make sure they, they the star the and all yeah. that shit. I had that time in my life. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But in the day, shit, I was like, I was done to be good manager. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't have a problem with playing the backfield. I just want to make sure the end goal is the end, goal. The, it, come on, man. The end goal is the win goal. That's sure. that's Every that's time. all any of us want, bro. And sure. you said something. You said, man, everybody want to be that that pilot, bro. You don't gotta be the pilot. I see a lot of people that nah, man. You know this ain't you. You know what you got going on, ain't you, bro? Please, but, but that's not for me to say. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying. But at the same time, we know. Yeah, for sure. It, 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 Everybody ain't got to be the A mic. Everybody it's ain't okay got to be, be the B him. Mike sometimes. <laughs> like, Everybody ain't got to be him. Sit back and relax, bro, and play yeah. your role. I, I promise you, bro, the role players get a, just enough love, bro. I'm telling you, boy, y'all, y'all get the same caliber of bitches. I don't For sure. know I'm fine. For sure. You feel what I'm saying? He's going to get a second. <laughs> <laughs> They just got to come to him first and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, for yeah. y'all seriousness, bro, like, people got a real life No, Like, at the end of the day, like, even if you you – Everybody ain't built to be the star. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, sometimes that shit come with a lot, bro. Yeah, man. You don't want to. Sometimes you, if it fail, who they gonna who they gonna blame? They the come to you. They come to me. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like yeah, I, I I get it. I get it. And but some of the people want that shit. You know what I mean? And you gotta put. I, I, that's one thing I've been telling myself, like mentally, put pressure on yourself so you can keep proving yourself. Right, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? But in the day, it's just like, man, what's next? All right, this is next, and go attack that shit, and then that's what builds the what y'all see. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Because I can say, I tell my old lady this all the time. Like, if everything when people be giving me the affirmations and the confirmations of that I'm doing something good, if that shit came with the money, it'd be yeah, we'll be Gucci. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The end goal is not money, but at the, well, like I said, when you have that in mind to be like, all right, one day that shit going to happen yeah. for me. You one know what day I mean? everything that I put in, all the games yeah, that, that I soaked up, off. all the back areas I played, one day that shit going to equal to my bank account, bro. For sure, for sure. You know and, I mean? and, and, and it's all about the comfortable feeling you get with yeah, it. You know what bro. I mean? Because entrepreneurs, the podcasting, yeah. uh, I don't know. Like as far as like day jobs and stuff like that, but in the day I bet you guarantee you y'all want to do this. Goddamn yeah. right, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I, 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 it's some days that I want to be a little bit more on my hustle with yeah. my clients and stuff like that. But some days I'd be like, man, damn, I worked hard yesterday. I want to chill, today. bro. I'm, I'm telling you, it, it would be so nice to not have to get up in the morning, go to work every day, and then if me and Fave say, hey, you know what? Fuck, let's shoot twice a week. Yeah. yeah. Let's shoot three times a week. And let's do right. it. Let's run. But at the end of the day, I, hey, I would bro, love to do that. The good thing about it is we getting up every day. Mm-hmm. We healthy. Yep. And you can come in here and do this motherfucker. Facts. So keep, we gotta keep trying, keep bro. Going, bro. Keep going, bro. All you gotta that's do is keep about. going. Cause I that's one thing, like we said, we said we probably said it a thousand times on this episode. It's easy to say. It's just hard to do, but you yeah. gotta do it, bro. You gotta stay consistent, bro. You gotta keep showing up. You got to, you bro. You gotta keep making them see you, and you gotta stay in the front of. Because even for the doing. haters, even for the haters, because you know you don't want to use haters as motivation, but even for the haters, bro, like it's good for them to 
see that shit. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So eventually that hate, it'd be like, all right, let me go on and get on board. Because yeah. he he didn't he don't give a damn about me. <laughs> whatever they talking about, he don't give a shit he about because he keep coming. I want yeah. them to I wanted people to know that. Like I was hearing the stories. I wanted people to know that I knew they was having a little beef with me about some some shit that they ain't had no control over. But I never I never let them see me sweat. Even when, you know, of course, like everybody don't want to work out. You know yeah, what I mean? Nah. So it's tough times that come with it. But I'm gonna keep working out. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep motivating people to come out and see me. And, and, and pushing that healthy lifestyle. I can't wait to see you guys pull up and rock with me. Man, tell them where the gym at. Tell them the name of the gym. Tell them, you know, I'll give them all that. Your, your social yeah, media Yeah, so platforms. I'm about 59 and lower copy on the north side. You know what I mean? I'm five minutes, ten minutes from downtown. Real close. Mm -hmm. uh, Kingdom Fitness Boxing Academy. Um, come through. We got boxing. We Of course, we working out. If you want to get your kids involved, which is something that I very much encourage, um, I think they should start as early as four or five when they starting to get their this correlation and coordination down. Um, that's something that we push. Our slogan is we make champs, and that's what we about, man. Uh, it's your boy First Class. I appreciate these guys. Let me slide through on their podcast. Of course, y'all know y'all coming on mine. Yes, so, indeed. You know yes, man? indeed. So it's gonna, we're going to do it big, and I appreciate y'all, man, for real. Hey, man. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I always hey, love, G. Real ones. Real hey, ones. Real ones. It's a great episode. I love the conversations that we have. Sure. Episode 71 coming soon. We appreciate y'all. Just as part of the first class. We out. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was good. Here's the thing. It's just us. 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 Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I appreciate that's one of the easy ones too. Easy one, you know what I'm saying? I know we got somebody who don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying?